name is Naova Zara. I'm a lecturer of geography and music. I'm also a mentor teacher, an ICT champion. I'm a senior woman and I'm a member of the governing council of the college. The first issue that I discovered with gender-based violence is the ignorance about it. Uh, during our focus group discussion and in the, when we had our dialogue, students ex didn't know some of the forms of gender-based violence and students admitted after the dialogue that they were doing them but they didn't know that they were hurting one another. The second issue rotates around relationships student-student relationships that go south. Another is uh, the power imbalance because maybe a lecturer would like a student to, to do something and because he's a lecturer, the student is coerced into, into ad admitting to, to, to a certain behavior to do something. So the, the issue of GBV with relationship is, is major, but silence is handled. hesitant to report these cases of gender-based violence for fear to be labeled, isolated, hated, and uh, for a lack of a proper reporting system, students feel nothing will be done. Action research is an activity which takes us through identifying the problem in your community, thinking about how to overcome it by creating an observation, an intervention, then use that intervention and reflect to see if that intervention has had an impact on solving the problem you have uh, identified, but also working together with the members of the community to identify and also to find solutions. Generated a, a, a brochure which has detail about the forms, causes, strategies to keep away the violence. I also recorded a film which shows how someone suffers violence and nearly drops out of college. We think that it is appealing and easy to watch because it's a short film. We have also put up posters that I created with a dialogue showing stop violence, trust someone, take your issue here, which we have put around the college for students to keep looking at and maybe reflecting on. We have also shared my report to create awareness. And to encourage students to, to speak out, we have had a dialogue with the students especially the girl students or female lecturers we had the session we called it girl talk and in this talk we talked extensively about students speaking up how to lessen their being vulnerable by keeping safe in where they're supposed to be keeping away from dark corners we have also talked about them being assertive knowing why they are here learning to say no but also encourage them to trust a student or a colleague or even a lecturer to speak about their issues. I feel that um, uh, my actual research and uh, findings and reportings have created awareness, especially because it was the major thing, awareness among the students of the existence of GBV for those that didn't know, knowing the forms that uh, this is uh, also violence. That was a, a very big in, in intention for my study, but also among my colleagues, I hear that many talk about GBV uh, whenever they get a forum. So GBV is not now no, no longer a sacred talk, but it's something that people air out now I feel that uh, the future will create a safer environment 
keep students uh, free and trust us and can speak out and can comfortably talk to a circle of friends about maybe um, an issue you think that uh, makes you vulnerable to GBV and uh, those people that um, uh, are fond of um, acts that um, make others uncomfortable will we'll change behavior because the major purpose is for all to safely stay here. So I feel that the future will be a better place and we shall have uh, less violence for, for the sake of having uh, an inclusive climate for all of us, both male and female students and lecturers in the